Good afternoon folks, this is Jason Shepard from the Anchor Room and today we're going to cover the installation of a lower valance decal or a lower valance blackout panel but in this case in the 3M Dynock carbon fiber the actual vehicle wrap, the good stuff. Um, as most of you already realize that this is a dry installation meaning that there is no use of application fluid which intimidates a lot of people. Um, the introduction of a uh, dry apply with air release technology is very intimidating to a lot of people because the lack of application fluid of course makes it in their opinion harder to reposition a decal and get it absolutely right. Again the part we're covering is the lower valance piece which is a significant size from left to right um, but I'll um, take my time and show you how to do this properly and um, get it on your car and looking good in no time. Before we get started I want to cover with you real quick the couple tools we're going to use, in this case a uh, squeegee which is felt tipped. We use the felt tips on all of our installations to ensure that we do not scratch the actual vinyl. Um, in this case also we have a microfiber towel, but as you can tell there is absolutely no application fluid that we're going to use today except for cleaning the actual surface that we will apply the decal to. So having said that, we're actually going to start with our standard application fluid which is just soapy water or you can just make sure you wash your car real good before you do this and we're going to spray this surface down real good and as you can tell we don't use very much soap in our application fluid um, it's just how we like it um, take the microfiber towel wipe down the surface real good I would also get the surface above it just to make sure that there's no application fluid or water that's going to be able to drip down while you're trying to install this and make things more difficult. Biggest thing obviously in this case is to ensure that the surface is dry after we have ensured that there is no debris in there and make sure that the surface is good to go for installation. I'm going to wipe this down one more time. Make sure I get into the creases over here. And having done all that, we're just going to apply the decal. Alright, here we are behind the car with the actual decal. As you can tell, this is the 3M vehicle wrap. It's a dry installation, as I mentioned earlier. And again, a lot of people are intimidated by this stuff because it is a dry installation. Um, and this has the air release technology. Best thing I could tell people with this stuff is, um, you know, again, like any other vinyl, take your time, be patient. Um, and it's not a permanent piece until you apply pressure so I'm going to actually just take the decal I'm going to pop it in place and I'm not trying to put it in the final resting position even though close to it would be great let's see I mean there's some opportunity there to move that but I'm just pretty much doing this to kind of keep it in place and I want to show you what I mean by the fact that it's not permanent until you apply pressure but um, I can tell on the right hand side almost perfect but I'm just say about a 30 seconds of an inch over um, height wise we're looking pretty good though um, but you see I can actually take this corner and I can peel that up because everywhere where I've applied pressure is where the decal will stick so until I do the entire decal there should not be any issues so um, as you can tell, I'm applying this from the back side of the car. It makes my life a little easier to make sure that everything is positioned in exactly the right spot. Um, no application fluid. Again, I want to continue to mention that. Um, and the nice stuff is, is you can just move the air out with the simplest tools God gave you. It's your fingers. Um, we, however, do have some other tools, as I mentioned earlier. The squeegee with the felt tipped edge to ensure we don't scratch anything and in this case I'm just going from one side to the other I'm happy about where it sits making some minor adjustments with my thumb and once all the fluid has been removed from underneath excuse me, not fluid, air, excuse me, um, should sit in place and we'll be good to go I like to kind of finish it up with the microfiber towel to make sure that we did cover everything but there you go it's as simple as that
Thanks for your purchase and have a fantastic day.